I lead the research and policy work at the Faith Institute at Faith Foundation based in Lagos, Nigeria. I would say it's retrieving data and engaging with policy stakeholders using database information to influence change. I was drawn to the Nigerian Startup Bill because of the fact that it's targeted at supporting young people in Nigeria and it is coming at a time when unemployment and underemployment are both at an all-time high. I would say it's engaging with stakeholders to ensure that the bill is inclusive and touches on all of the key pain points impacting on startups. That would be innovation, driving innovation. The Nigerian Startup Bill is designed to support both female and male-led startups. However, there are two key aspects of the bill that I think will specifically tackle challenges that female-led startups face. One is finance. Female-led startups tend to face way more challenges than their male counterparts. With a startup engagement portal and the Startup Seed Fund, female-led startups will have unbiased access to information and support with regards to accessing funding. The other part is talent. While over the years we have witnessed a progressive increase with regards to female-led startups within the tech space, there's still a huge gap to be filled. Part of this bill specifically provides support um, in terms of capacity building to encourage more women and female-led startups to come into the tech ecosystem. My hope is that the implementation of the Nigerian Startup Bill will lead to an increase in the number of sustainable female-led startups operating within the tech system. A specific pain point that I hope the bill will address will definitely be access to funding for female-led startups. This bill provides an intentional approach and an institutional framework to support startups to grow but will only yield results when implemented. And so we need everyone to join the cause and throw their weight behind this bill. No shaking.